Hello, today we have a Windows machine. We cannot log into this machine because we forgot the password of the user administrator. Nothing will work. So let's use a Linux Live CD, boot this virtual machine into that Live CD and then attach or mount the existing virtual hard disk and reset the password of the user administrator. For that on the internet we search for Linux Recover Windows User Password. This is one of the possible results, opensource.com article how to reset password. This one. And this says that you can boot onto any Linux Live CD that allows you to install packages, such as, for instance, the Fedora installer ISOs. And I have selected a Linux operating system that's specialized, which is System Rescue. It's a 800 megabytes. ISO that already contains the software that we need in order to reset the password of Windows users. And that software is this one, change anti-password, chntpw. So let's boot into the live CD mode of uh, System Rescue ISO. I have downloaded this ISO. And after that, we're going to follow this procedure. So the virtual machine software is VMware Workstation 17 Player, which is the latest version. We're on a Windows host computer. Let's attach the ISO into the CD-ROM drive. So that's removable devices, CD, DVD settings, Connected at power on, ISO, system rescue. Okay. And now we need to know how to boot into the CD mode in our virtualization software. That is done by editing the BIOS. So we'll need to enter into the BIOS of the virtual machine. We do that by restarting the virtual machine and uh, at the right moment pressing the F2 key. Okay, so after a number of retries I needed to restart the computer a number of times because you need to be really really fast with pressing that F2 key in order to enter BIOS because it waits less than I don't know half a second for you to press the key to enter BIOS. Okay, we go to the boot tab and in here we increase the priority of the CD-ROM drive by pressing the plus key and then F10 to save and exit. Yes. We keep the default uh, boot option in the System Rescue Live CD or press enter, the same thing. Okay, the system finished booting, we're logged on as the user root. So now we can follow the procedure. Let's see how we do that. In uh, the example, the utility change and the password is not already pre-installed, so it uses the package manager, in this case Fedora Linux, that's the NF install. We already have it available, we can check that. So change NT password. The fact that auto completion works and the fact that where, where is it? Which? Okay. 
So the first step is SF disk minus L. This lists the current um, virtual hard disks, partitions, and CD-ROM drives. So we have slash dev slash SDA, which is 10 gigabytes. This is the virtual hard disk. It also says uh, VMware virtual one. Only has one partition, dev SDA one, and that's of type uh, NTFS. So that's what we want to actually edit. Okay, then it says that we should run this command, which is make dir slash mnt slash Microsoft. Let's do that. In, it can be seen in here in the screenshot. And then we should run mount. We're already the super user. Dev, in our case, that's sda1 and slash mount Microsoft. It fixed the file system. Okay, and now we need to go into this directory, which is uh, Windows System32 config. That's cd slash m. The capitalization is not necessarily this one because in Windows the file systems, file names, directory names are case insensitive. That's why we really need to try autocompletion. Uppercase W and then press the top key. So the Windows directory is all uppercase. There's nothing with um, uppercase S that we need. So let's try lowercase S, Y, OK, and then 3. So the system32 directory is actually all lowercase. And then config. OK. In here, we need to run this command, which is change anti-password L and then SAM. Minus L for listing. And SAM is a database. Okay, we can see in here the Windows local user that we care about, which is the user administrator, which is with uh, RID 01F4. Next up, we'll need to edit this user. Okay, so change anti password minus I and then SAM, edit user data and passwords, that's one. It says in here that we should type one. And then we need to select a user. Let's see how this thing is being done. So in the tutorial, they change the password of the user rkit minus pc, which is this guy, the second user, not the user administrator, with uh, rid 03e9. That's why they pass in here 03e9. Okay, we want the user administrator, which is 01f4. Press enter. It recognizes the user administrator correctly. The correct uh, RID, which is 500 in decimal, administrator. And uh, we can see the bits with password doesn't expire, normal account. And uh, says that we have two failed login tries. We tried with two random passwords and we did not manage to log in. And the option that we want now is one to clear the user password. Previously, that there used to be in this edit set new user password, which maybe doesn't work that great on XP and Windows Vista. This option has disappeared meanwhile, but uh, clearing the blanking the user password is enough. So that means that you will be able to log into Windows as the user administrator with no password. Okay. 
in here it says that uh, no NTMD4 hash found, which means that the user probably has a blank password, which is the case. Yes, the user administrator no longer has a password. And it also says in here password cleared. Okay, then we press Q to quit. And then we press Q to quit again. And um, now it says, do I really want to overwrite the, to change the SAM um, database? Yes. And that's it. Now the password has been changed. We we'll need to shut down the virtual machine, remove the CD from the ISO from the CD-ROM drive. So that would be shut down minus H now. Okay. And then remove the CD DVD ROM. So not connected. Okay. Reboot. And now because there's um, no longer a CD-ROM available, it will boot onto the virtual hard disk. Okay. This operating system requires that we press Ctrl R delete, which we can send either from here, from the player, um, from the main menu player, and then send Ctrl R delete or this uh, toolbar icon. And again, not you don't need to write anything in the password field, just press enter.